Today's video is sponsored by NordVPN. Get 75% off your three-year subscription at nordvpn.com slash zproductions. Full frame cameras give you more bokeh than crop censored cameras. You've probably heard of that one before. But is it true? And if it is, how does that even work? I'm going to answer that in this very video, but the bad news is there's really no short answer to this question because it can be a yes or a no depending on how you look at it. So to demonstrate, I'm going to have two camera bodies, one crop and one full frame, shooting the same setup at the same distance. I've got a Canon 5D Mark III, which is a full frame camera, and also I've got a Canon 100D, which is an APS-C 1.6x crop. From here on out, I'm going to refer to them as the full frame and the crop, respectively. We'll start by shooting with the exact same lens on each body, which is a 50mm prime lens set to f2.8. Because of the crop factor, the framing is tighter on the crop, but both images actually have the exact same amount of depth of field. Now that's because they were shot with the same focal length at the same distance using the same aperture, which are the three variables that actually control depth of field. If we crop in the image shot on the full frame by exactly 1.6 times to match the framing of the crop, the two images become practically identical. So the point I'm trying to demonstrate here is that simply having a larger sensor size in itself is going to do absolutely nothing to your depth of field. Depth of field doesn't really have any direct correlation to a bigger sensor being able to capture more light. Now, because the field of view is different when shooting using the same focal length on a full frame and a crop, let's see what happens when we increase the focal length by exactly 1.6 times on the full frame, giving us 80 millimeters. Now, we're increasing the focal length on the full frame only so that the framing matches the 50 mil on the crop. Now, the results, the full frame has a noticeably shallower depth of field or a stronger bokeh, as a result of the increased focal length. So in this sense, a full frame camera can get you a shallower depth of field compared to a crop camera when you increase the focal length to compensate for the difference in field of view. So technically speaking, it's not really the sensor size that causes the shallower depth of field, it's the increase in focal length. So if you're more result oriented, you can say that a larger sensor size will ultimately get you a shallower depth of field because you would have to use a longer focal length to get the same framing. Or in some cases, you'll simply walk up closer to your subject to frame it, focusing closer in, hence throwing your background further out of focus. So it's the other way around for crop. It's more difficult to get a shallower depth of field with a crop sensor because you would have to use a wider focal length to get the same desired framing. So for anyone who is wondering about the answer to this question, I hope this video clears it up. But there's actually one more thing I'd like to share from our sponsors today, NordVPN. There's two reasons why you might want to consider using a VPN. One, it protects your online privacy, so third parties or even your own internet service provider cannot track your online activity. And two, you can access content that's not available in your region with just a click. NordVPN has more than 5,200 servers in 60 countries, and they've registered their company in Panama. Now that's because the jurisdiction there does not require them to keep any logs of your data, and that is how they are able to uphold their no data logging policy. You can get NordVPN by going to nordvpn.com slash zproductions and using the coupon code zproductions to get 75% off your three-year plan plus a free month. With your subscription to NordVPN, you can use it on your mobile phone as well. I was also told that this is nearing the end of their sales campaign, so this is a final opportunity to grab NordVPN at a cheaper price. So that's it for today. If you enjoyed the video, do consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon for more videos just like this, and I'll see you in the next video. But until then, here's another video of mine YouTube thinks you should watch, or if you don't like a computer telling you what to watch, here's one of my latest videos.